In this video, we will import a demo website. As you can see, I'm in WordPress dashboard and I have installed Massive Dynamic. First, let's open Massive Builder. Okay, here you can see the Massive Builder area. Using the import demo button here, I can import demo websites. But first, I should enter my purchase code. Now I click on import button on top of my workspace. Here's a list of demo websites I can choose to import. Also, you can see those filters on top which can help me find a demo website faster. I'm going to choose this one. On right, there is a description for what's going to happen. Here I can choose what I want to import. For example, I can disable media so it won't import images and other media files. At the bottom, it says new builder setting will replace my current setting. On the left, I can move my mouse over the Mac and click on the link to make sure I'm importing the right demo website. Okay, cool. Uh, this is the demo website I want to import. Going back to importer, I should choose that I know my settings will be replaced with new settings. Here it says uh, I need to install contact form 7 and Pixpello plugin first. So I go back to WordPress dashboard. Click on begin installing plugins here. I'm going to choose contact form 7 and Pixpello plugin. Then I'm going to install them. Then I need to go to plugins and activate them. All right, now I'm going back to Importer and click on Import Demo button again. Please note that you can install plugins before you enter Massive Builder. For demos that have a slider on top, you need to install and activate Revolution Slider. And for shop demos, you should install and activate WooCommerce plugin. Also, some demos require Go Pricing plugin. Now I will jump to end of import process. Okay, or here's the pop-up saying uh, after the page reload, if I'm not seeing home page or navigation, I should set them manually. Here you can see that the header navigation is missing, so I have to set it myself. To do that, I have to go to menus and select my current menu. Then set it as primary and mobile navigation. And just like that, the demo that I wanted is imported to my website. 